Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Eileen. We're going to tap into some general messages for you guys today, all right? Please do me a favor and hit the like button real quick, Pisces. You know, it helps so much. All the things here on YouTube, the algorithm. So I appreciate you. Also, please honor yourself by trusting your higher self to take the messages that resonate for you, okay? Today we are going to be incorporating the waning crescent phase of the moon that we're going to be in just after the uh, full moon in Cancer that we're going to have. December 26th around 7 30 p.m. Eastern time okay and the waning crescent is all about kind of like calming back down grounding yourself getting back to your center coming back to homeostasis after cl the climactic energy of the full moon okay so that is the energy I want to tap into for you guys it's also like preparation for the upcoming new moon that we're going to be having okay so you have Isis here and it says sacred contracts mm. okay sacred contracts i'm hearing binding yourself binding yourself okay so spirit is saying be careful of what you are binding yourself to right because contracts are not just literal right like something you sign your actual name on but they are also very energetic and very spiritual so watch what you are binding yourself to energetically spirit is saying okay let's get the rest of your cards out Okay, you have Envy out here as your first card. Capricorn had that in the same spot. We'll talk about that. Okay, you have Friendship. Love that for you. Okay. You have Service. Okay. And you have Love. Literally love that for you. All right, let's tap into the specifics of your reading today. Envy, okay, so envy is being clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Page of Wands here, okay. So, like I said, Capricorn had the, this energy in the same place um, in their reading today. Some of you, there could be something that you're wanting to start, but for whatever reason, you're not feeling like you can, okay? Um, you could feel like other people around you are able to do this or... Some of you, there is a sense of freedom that you are, you know, could be consciously or subconsciously envious of, right? Like, damn, I wish I had more free. Oh my God, I got to stay home and take care of my family. Or I don't know why I'm hearing like newborn. Okay. So some of you may have, you know, recently had a baby or something like that. If so, congratulations. Um, but there could be this energy of like, oh, they can do that because they have so much time or, you know, I don't know. There's something around that there. So Spirit, can you give me a little more so we can clarify that for Pisces? The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Judgment and the Knight of Wands. And I feel like this energy is wanting to, is, it's making you, it's like a fire being burned underneath you. And you know, it, it, it's hot, but then it, it gets hotter and hotter and hotter until it just, Right. And you make an impulsive move. That's what I feel like. Yup, two of swords in the tower. Something feels like crunch time. Okay. Why are your friends important with this? The devil in reverse. Love it. Okay, because your friends can talk you off the ledge. Okay. Two of wands and the page of cups here. There's an understanding. I don't know that is being offered. Okay, by either a you know, specific group of friends or a special person in your life. Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, your friends are going to be very okay. And the Sun. Seven of Wands here and the Two of Pentacles. Some of you, this is like, um, you know how you are around your family for the holidays. You see a lot of people you haven't seen in a while. You could have been catching up with people. And, you know, that energy can kind of mess with you a little bit as well because we we are coming into the energies of the Cancer Full Moon. It is so sensitive, child. It's so sensitive, okay? And emotional, all right? But I'm not going to lie. With the Devil in Reverse clarifying the friendship card, it does feel like you have genuinely supportive people around you who know you for who you are from your heart space with the sun out here, okay? So, um, service. The fool, the lovers, ooh, and the five of swords. This is gonna sound weird, 
but maybe not. Um, but some of you, there is something here about or if you are able to offer something to someone else right now. Okay, that could really change the energy of how you're feeling. Okay, really get you out of your head as well. See, it says, I feel good when I can help others. Okay, look, Ten of Wands in reverse. I'm telling you. I know it seems so random. Look, Eight of Cups, that's your energy. Four of Cups here. It's like to get your mind in a better place right now, okay, about what type of contracts you want to be binding yourself to moving forward because Pisces right now feels like there could be a bit of crunch time going on, you know, racing time, you know, and you don't want to just jump into a contract. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles here, right? Especially with that clarifying the Envy card. Oh, I want to get here now. And, you know, you don't want to approach that energy from this space, okay? Because that's approaching it from a space of fear and a fear of lack. I'm mean, at a place of lack, okay? <clears throat> so you want to be approaching this energy from calm, from a calm space, figuring this stuff out in a calm, rational matter, manner, excuse me. Okay. Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so some of you, I don't know, this could be community service. This could just be, hell, I don't know, opening the door for somebody. You know what I mean? It, there is something here like you, 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 you are not meant to be like grinding your gears about this right now. You're really not. And we're in a waning phase right now. So just honor that, Pisces. Okay, um, please clarify the uh your love card says i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things Let's clarify thank you the six of wands oh, okay and the eight of cups and the high priestess yes 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 you need to be surrounded by people you love right now that's it that is it that is all um this grinding your gears right now it's not helping okay um because it's creating fear and lack and, you know, more low vibrational energy versus if you were to clear that energy and then approach it with fresh energy because you've been filled up with love from this support system here. I don't know who that is. Could be Leo Capricorn. Um, but look, eight of cups, six of wands, and then the high priestess is right there. It's like you get back to yourself, nine of pentacles, you're feeling full, okay? And it's like being hangry, hungry and angry at the same time, right? you're just completely irrational child then you fill your belly up and you're like oh my god i was snapping on you like that you know what i'm saying so i don't know this sounds very like nuanced and spiritual it's yeah this is a parting guidance for yeah ten of cups page of wands you need to be finding joy you need to be having fun you need to be connecting to the people around you you need to be going on adventures right now whether that's just you know doing something creative around the house you know or just something like that okay and preferably with other people why because i just cut the deck and the ace of swords are there somehow clarity is going to come through those interactions and experiences i don't think yeah spirits like what you're doing right now grinding your gears and feeling like you're racing time and all this expedited and fast moving energy is just very sporadic and chaotic okay last card for pisces thank you yep and the six of pentacles here so it's a lot of pentacles on in your energy right now so you are thinking about the earthly you're thinking about the tangible okay yeah look at that the hangman literally you you are literally thinking about it yep okay so pisces this is this is your sign to um, redirect that energy now, if you can, okay? Um, you need to tap into your Virgo energy of service right now, okay? That sixth house energy, service, your habits, okay? And service to others, okay? Let's card it for Pisces. Ah! Ah, you have the first quarter moon in cancer and it says push through any insecurity. We're literally about to go into this after we have the full moon in cancer this evening at 730 p.m. Eastern time today, the 26th. OK, or you guys might be seeing this on the 27th. Either way, the moon will be there. OK, so push through any insecurity. All right. Um, and I think that your friends and your circle community are really going to be helping you. 
okay move forward through this energy so that's what i have for you pisces i love you i pray these messages find you out bye